Guys, welcome to today's episode of This or That here at Audio City USA. Today I'm joined by Anthony and Gio, and we're gonna dive into some of the most controversial takes on this car or that car. Now today, Anthony has compiled a list of 10 different cars that we're all gonna agree or disagree on. We're gonna make some people mad. We are gonna make some people mad, so stay tuned, listen up, and if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe because we bring out content every single week, and you don't wanna miss the stuff that's coming out because it's amazing. Without further ado, let's jump in. And Anthony, start us off. What have we got first up on the list? All right, so first one up is, we got one, a Bugatti Chiron, or a 1955 300 SL Gullwing. Bro, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. You can't Not be doing me. that. Not for me. <laughs> I'm going for the Chiron. I mean, I like the Gullwing, but I'm going to be honest, guys, I think it's I think it's a little overrated. No. Is it controversial? Okay. See, this is tough because you know I like classic Mercedes, but what do you guys think in the comments? I mean, this one for me is tough. The Chiron is a Chiron though, right? Like, what would you pick? Me? The Gullwing. Really? Uh, I, yeah, the SL, you know what it is? Just It's the iconic look and... I really don't think it's going to depreciate. I think it's going to keep going up in value. Dang. I it will, but which one are you going to have more fun driving? At the end of the day, they're in your garage. You're going to have to enjoy one of them. I still get the going. My, in my opinion, I would. This, I, I'd take the Chiron. I agree with you. I'd have Chiron. to take the Chiron. As much as I love the Mercedes, no. And it, Once again, I think it's a generation thing. Just because you're a boomer. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next one. Next one. This one's got a good one, too. All right, so we got a... Let's just say it's going to be a 1972 C10 or a Ford F100, which same years. C10. Old day C10. I don't know about you guys, but Chevy. I yeah. think I have to go with that as well, dude. Chevy. I'm a Chevy yeah. guy. I'm the same way. Sorry, <laughs> Ford guys. They're going to be mad, but the F100 looks good bagged. I would still take the C10. I have a square body myself. I think the the C10 just looks better. I mean, if Eva's watching, he's going to get mad at you, but that's fine. And uh, you know what? Another thing, too, I love the C10. There's more aftermarket parts for the C10. That's true. That's very true. What do we got next? Next one. All right. Oh, this is a good one. Um, Mercedes C63 or a G80 M3? BMW all day. I'm no, a BMW no, no, guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> no 100%. 100%. <laughs> I'm a... not even fighting you guys on that one. I got to take, take the, the C63. C63 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I mean, everyone I loves BMW. BMW. I, think I think they, they drive, drive amazing, but I'm just a Mercedes, Mercedes guy, and I love the V8s that they, that they have in those things. things. Not, not the new ones. ones I will admit the new C63s are not it. But the V8 twin turbo, that's what I get. Rick's going to get mad at you. Why? He's a Mercedes. But me, I'd get the C63. C63. So out, I don't know. I yeah. I wouldn't do it. I've just been a BMW guy since day one. That's because you have one. You Man. can't be biased because you have one. It might. Well, be okay. <laughs> Debatable. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, I, I know. I did. Uh. I've had a BMW, so I. Still, well, I, you didn't have a good experience, but. Yeah, but either way, I still think the C63 overall, it just looks better in my opinion. Not knocking the JDM3, but. The other thing is like. You know, Mercedes has the big luxury aspect. And if I'm spending that much for a sports car, I want $100,000 worth of sports car. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. No. Like, I'm not there for all the ambient lighting. That's nice and all. But, That's like, the point. it's bougie. It's, it's, you're in a nice environment. You want to impress the I'll girl? I'll buy an E class you know, for that. Pay? I'll buy an E class for you that. I impress the girl. I think the C63 is just it's sporty and it's more luxurious inside. <laughs> Maybe. If the girl's in the passenger seat, yeah. maybe. <laughs> next up, what do we have, Anthony? What's next? Next one. Ooh, this one's good. What do you got? 92 Acura NSX. Okay. Okay. Or Skyline GTR. Oh, I hate oh, Nissans, but I like that generation of Nissans. Like, I'm not an Ultima guy, but at the same time, that's very hard. Like, that's a very nice car. I'll take the GTR. I'll take the GTR. All right, all right. GTR. I'm really on the fence about that one. I've always loved the GTR, obviously, because Fast and Furious, who who doesn't? But yeah, the iconic. NSX is a beautiful car, too. It's, slow, it's honestly, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. I'm going to go with the GTR, but yeah, GTR. I'm, I'm against both of you. So I would go with the poor man's Ferrari. The NSX? Yeah. Why? It, you know what? Since I was a kid and back in the 90s, I used to look at that car and I used to just, I always fell in love with it. To this day, 
I still want to buy one. Even now. Even now. Like a 92, a 92? NSX, like I'm I'm in love with that car still. Would you put custom wheels on it? A hundred percent. I would put 19s. Even bag it, I would. No, you wouldn't bag an NSX. I would. I, would. I don't think it's on. Guys, if you agree with bagging an NSX, let us know in the comments below. That's a crime. No. That is a crime. No. But hey, you know what? This is this is why we're doing this. It's, we're debating. So we can air out on the internet how wrong your opinions are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what have, what have you got next? All right, next one. Was that a good one or not? It was a good one. Of course it yeah, was. Yeah, that's... That was a tough Yeah, one. super controversial. So, so tough. Okay, next one. Jeep Wrangler... Or Ford Bronco? See, I used to be a Jeep guy, but then I grew up, and now I like the Ford Bronco. Ooh, what do you think? Oh, I'm still wow. a Jeep guy. <laughs> that's, see, but you're young. I'm young. I mean, old like me, or ancient like him. What do you think? Jeeps. You're a Jeep guy. Definitely. <sighs> you know what? This is a really hard one. Um, uh, uh, aesthetically? The Ford Bronco looks better, in yes. my opinion, uh, aesthetically. I think if I'm going to go off-roading and I'm going to be very aggressive, I would take yeah. the Jeep Wrangler. But uh, it's not choose one of those. It's not like choose both. I have to choose between those two. It would be the Ford Bronco. Interesting. Yeah. It, it just... You're not even a Ford guy, which is why it's interesting. Um, if we can put up the pictures right here. Look, we just did one with some lock off-road wheels um looks so good yeah. by the way it looks amazing. and um it looks perfect it was 20 by 10s with some 33s and it looked perfect and we set it up and it was it looked beautiful and by the way guys we do this all day at audio city usa so if you do have fitment questions please contact us we'll help you out that's just by the by anthony is the specialist when it comes to that stuff and we can make your car look awesome so yes 100 absolutely what do we have next next one. Oh, this one's good um E30 M3. I'm looking at you straight <laughs> up. <laughs> or Mercedes 190E Evo oh. 2. Oh, uh, I want to hear it from you first. Okay. Dude, I know earlier you were talking about like the, you love the 190E. I, I do love the 190 and with the Evo body kit, like that thing is beautiful. This isn't even a, com a question. Surely. I mean, come on, man. Look, I, I like both those cars too. I know. Come on. Do I have to choose one? You, yes, you must these. pick one. Um, I am a BMW guy, but I'm not gonna lie. Compared to the to the Mercedes, the E30s are too easy to find. I think I'd have to go with the the you 190. Yeah. Yes, yes, finally. I'm. You already know my answer. I'm not even gonna. It's I'm, a 190. Come on. 190. 100%. Even though I like that E30, it's hard. But it's just the 190. It just looks so good. Did you guys ever see the render? I'll throw it up here. There's a guy who did a render on Instagram of the two cars, and I mean, look at the render, and you tell me which one you think looks better. It's close though. It's no, too it, close. It's it, too it close. is. It is. But the, just we just saw it at SEMA. Yeah, looked fantastic. Dude, we were like drooling over like someone twin turboed one at SEMA. I think if I can find the footage, I'll put that up too. Yeah, that thing was Incredible. so hard. Um, What's next about? one. So this one goes for all body styles from the '60s to right now. Camaro or Mustang? Mustang. Camaro. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a Mustang. <laughs> I've always childhood dream car. All I wanted was a Mustang. I know what you're going to say. It's difficult. What? It's very difficult because I'm a Chevy guy, but there's one specific year that uh, that I would take over any Camaro, and that's the 67 Shelby GT350 Fastback. Interesting. Like the one in Bullet? Was that a 350? It's a GT350. Dude, the Fastback is just so beautiful, man. Like, I, I love that vehicle so much. 100%. But that means you'd take Mustang in general over the Chevys. That, <laughs> so that yeah, one no. car? That specific year only. Everything else, Camaro. Interesting. I don't so know. So it's difficult. So for know. me, I'm, I'm a little torn apart because... But you have to pick Camaro then. Yes. All right, Camaro. There but you go. but nah. I, gave my, I gave my love to the Mustang. Mustangs. I like Mustangs, don't get me wrong, but I think the, the for me, I like the split bumper Camaro. So not the 69 that everyone loves. I like the kind of like weirder looking one. It was like- 78? Uh, 74, I think, 74. Okay. 75, something like that. I'll put it up, split bumper. That's my favorite, but either way. Nice. That's, a that's tough. One. What do you have next? Okay. So here at Audio City USA, we've already done both of these and uh, maybe we can put some pictures here so you can see it. So Tesla Model S Plaid, or Lucid Air. I don't like the Lucid. Yeah, I take the either. Tesla. Dude, the Lucid is an egg. 
It is an egg. It looks like an egg. I'm going with a Tesla all day. Or like a cockroach. Yeah. It's a little bug. Okay. On both of them that we did with, uh, we did one with Giovanna wheels. The Model S we've done with Giovanna wheels too and Luxani wheels. And they both look good. What would you I don't doubt it. But I've driven Tesla. both. And... Oh, man. Um... I think the only reason why I would choose the Model S is because of the technology that it has. So you'd still you'd pick Tesla? Tesla? Yeah. yeah, the Tesla. Even though the Lucid Air was more comfortable driving it. And that's uh, the thing. It comes back to that again. Like yeah. the Lucid is about the luxury, all that kind of stuff. Like if you're getting a plaid, you want a fast car. That's yeah. True. And and my coworker Ben, he has a Lucid. I mean, he has the uh, Tesla plaid and. That he lets me drive it all yeah. the time. That thing's fast. I would it's go fast with that. too. I'd pick the plaid, honestly. And here's the thing: I'm not so much an EV fan in general, but it looks good. And it was yeah. designed by the same guy who did the Fisker Karma and the original Aston Martin DB9, the later generation when they were owned by Ford. The guy knows how to design it. Elon took that design, ran with it, and yes, they haven't updated it, but it looks good. Especially when you put some custom wheels on it, because everyone knows those aero discs are horrible. Like aero discs are ugly. So that's the first thing I recommend. But the Lucid just looks like an Apple Magic Mouse or a cockroach. It's just, it's just not. And same with the EQS. You know I love Mercedes, oh. but the EQS. Come on, man. Why 100%. Are you on that Mercedes? I'm on that, dude. No, that EQS is even a bigger egg. It is an egg. You guys don't like it? It looks no. terrible. No. You guys both suck, man. No. That dude. car is amazing. I've, that one's the most comfortable. EV car I've ever driven. Do you know why he's saying that? Is you saying that because you have a bad back because you're an no, old? No, because you, you actually called me grandpa the day too and said he was. Oh my god, he was talking. You know, I do it because I think of comfort for my family, and the, the Mercedes EQS has it. Man, yeah. if your kids get in a plaid, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna be thinking. All right, really? whatever. Yeah, but I would, <laughs> that's what I would do. Next one. Hold on. All right, this one is. I think this one's. Kind of hard, but as the closest one I can think of, I could find. It's going to be the Cybertruck or a tank. The new Chevy Silverado 3500 HD Dually. <laughs> Someone get pictures. I don't like the Cybertruck. I just don't. What do you guys think of the Cybertruck? I know it's been released and a couple of reviewers have them now and whatever, but what do you think? I don't like the Cybertruck, but I also don't like Dualies. I don't think they're necessary. Like, dude. Every other know. country manages to survive without yeah, dualies. We live in the, LA. The dually is very simple. It's not controversial. So it's either no. that you have a dually and you don't work in construction. You don't have, it has nothing to do with you, right? You just, you don't, it has nothing to do with your life. Okay. You just want to show off and I have want two big ass. Four wheels in the back. Tie. Yeah. You want to be a show off, which is perfectly fine. Your money, right? And you, it's being, it's useless to you. But what are you picking at the end of the day? Wait, yeah, let me let me round on let me <gasps> let me keep going. keep going. And or you have a dually with twelve ply tires, and you're actually using it for work and construction, and it has its purpose. That's the way I see dually, right? If I'm choosing between them, I'm gonna choose the 3500 dually. Interesting. Because it's been tested, it's been proven, and it it's it, it's it's a workhorse. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the thing. If I am a construction worker, I'm using it for what it's made for. Yes. I'll take the dually. But if I'm not, like, I don't like the look of them at all. They're so fat. I would just, I would even have to go with the Tesla. Well, the thing is, the Tesla might be good to drive, but as soon as you tow something, the range is down. As soon as the weather's bad, you lose range again because weather affects battery right. life. And you know what? These, it's just not useful. Did you see about um, all the East Coast um, people yeah. in the Midwest where the uh, electric chargers, you couldn't, it was all frozen. You couldn't, char work. you couldn't charge it. So, you know, it's like. As a truck, it's useless. As You're, a car, maybe. It's fine. Calif in California, we don't have that problem. California is like the only state, though. And correct me if I'm wrong, but California is the only state where EVs really work. Anywhere else. Florida? Well, not really, dude. Like, every, anywhere else. Southern California. Yeah. It's like a and very. There's always a wave. There's always a wave. That's something you're probably going to go to. That's true. It is true. Southern California? Yeah. I mean, you pull up to fast chargers these days. What Finding a spot that's free is already tough. That's already tough. tough. Yeah. Yeah. That's valid. Um, what do you got next? Let's see. I think we covered that. If you guys like the Cybertruck, I'm sorry, but you are a child who is stuck playing uh, Cyberpunk 2020. Tell us, let us know why you like that more in the comments. Uh, um, okay. So well, last one was for SF90 or Aventador. 
SF90. Yeah, I'm a Ferrari guy. Every Lamborghini owner is a crypto scammer. I'm sorry. Oh, that- <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Shit. <laughs> Tell, am I wrong? <laughs> Bro, they're going to give, gonna give you so much trash to like, talk about. Could you just? Yeah, am I wrong? I've, yeah. <laughs> I've met a few. And most Lamborghini owners will have a course that they're selling or a pyramid scheme, or some supplements, or they're steroid salesmen, or like they, they just have a very unique. Oh my you're gosh, right, he just right. said steroid sales, <laughs> dude. <laughs> he's right. If you have a Ferrari, you love the way it drives. You love the Ferrari. Yeah, you are elitist. Like Ferrari guys are very like pretentious when it comes to protecting their stuff. But at least you know you're surrounded by people who run businesses, and it, it's probably <laughs> legitimate businesses. <laughs> um, SF90. Yeah. yeah, it just it, not not because of all that other stuff. I just I just like the way it looks. But also, I I think it's also uh, Ferrari is the pinnacle in my mind. I love Ferraris. If you guys can't already tell, but I think it's just the ultimate supercar. It's been around for forever. Mm-hmm. And, and yes, you get all the heritage. You get all the heritage. And I know that's like, oh, people go, oh, whatever. What about the new stuff? But once you've actually driven in a Ferrari, I went on a rally where we I was in an F8 for a while. They're just nice cars to be in. Like I just. Thing, but it's cool that we all can unanimously agree on something because up until now we've all kind of had a different take. You're right. So. Yeah, it's yeah, it's good, and um, also it's how everyone has a di- everyone's always going to have a different taste on different cars. Oh. And um, well, I agree with you, but if you have a different taste than mine, you're, you're obviously wrong. Bro. It's true. You either have good taste, which is mine, or you're wrong. There's no in between, really. You're 100 percent wrong there, bro. You're 100 percent wrong there. Like. Would you daily drive your Chevy truck? I would not because it f- rides like shit. Correct. But it looks great. That's what it's about. <laughs> That's what it's about. Yeah. So last one on this list, let's throw it in there, is the Lamborghini Urus or the Ferrari Pura Sangue. Pure blood. So we got a V12 or we have a twin turbo V8 Audi. Which one do you like the most? Um, I like the Urus. Do you know what? I don't mind the Urus. And I think they're very comfortable. They're very well built. But a V12 SUV, no one's done that since Audi did the V12 TDI. So I, I think I got to pick that. But what do you think? Urus. I'm going with the Urus. Oh, you guys would both pick a Urus over a V12. It's a pretty car. It, it looks good, man. The Urus. Look, and you know what? And the good thing about it is because that we've already done one. Um, and the fitment on that car, I like it because of the fitment. You can go really aggressive on the offset on the Urus. That's true. So. Well, I guess on that one, I'm wrong. I'm the outlier. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you need wheels and tires, come to Audio City USA. Either visit our website or go to the phone number in the description, and we can help you out. Anthony's ready to answer the phone. He's ready to help you out with fitment. Gio's here, so you can come in and harass him too. But that's all we have time for today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go. Goodbye.